All right, you ready? Yep. All right, we're gonna do a quick demonstration on setting the bias on a VT100 Mark III. Audio Research has the biasing instructions for most of their tube amplifiers available on their website. So we printed it out here, but we're just gonna go through the, uh, through the procedure. So in the VT series, you have matched pairs of 6550 output tubes. So each one of these pairs here operates together. In the Mark II, there's only two adjustment points. In the Mark III, we can adjust each pair individually. The adjustment points are lined up down here, these blue trim pots, and each one corresponds to one pair of tubes. We're gonna set the voltmeter to measure millivolts DC. And then go to each one of the test points. When you're doing this, you wanna to try to keep one hand behind your back for safety reasons, and it goes without saying, if you are following along here, doing so at your own risk. So we're just going to one at a time clip across each one of these um, bias resistors. So now if you look at the meter, we're at 46.8 volts. This is almost dead on where it needs to be, uh, but we're just going to demonstrate taking this in and out of the, the bias point. So right now I'm using an insulated screwdriver uh, small flathead getting into here again try to do this with one hand behind your back so right now I'm rotating it counterclockwise which increases the bias and clockwise decreases the bias we want to have this idling right at 65 millivolts so I'm going to slowly take it up to the point and this takes a second to stabilize so I might overshoot it a little bit high, I'm going to back it back down. You want to talk about why the adjustments for all, all the biases are here, right? Yep, so all, all four adjustments are here. So we just work around in this order. This is outlined in the um, in the manual, mm -hmm. which, which one corresponds to each. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this to this position here. So it's, it doesn't short on anything. So if we look down at the meter, that one, that's right at. So how do you identify that position here? So if we look at the instructions from audio research, they outline each one of these trim pots here. Call out the points where you measure. And then this diagram here shows uh, the numbers that correspond to each one of the trim pots. So right now we're on the second one, and that one is right around where it needs to be. And these adjustments do affect one another. So you wanna do kind of a rough run around all four of them, and then come back after about two or three minutes and recheck and make sure that none of them have drifted. Now it's also important to let the amp warm up uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes before you make this adjustment, and it should always be loaded. So have it connected to your speakers, but no signal going. So that means you can have a CD player plugged in or your preamp on. Just make sure the volume's all the way down and your source is muted. And um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.